Hey buddy, I hope you're doing well. So, which loop is faster? For loop, while loop, do while loop, this loop, that loop, blah and blah. I have been asked this question many times. Because you work with different team, you work with different project, you keep moving to places, but you know, question remains the same. Then I thought, why not to create videos on the same? So here I am today. So today I will show you which loop is faster, for loop, while loop, do while loop, or what? Right. So let's go ahead and take a look with a real life example. So let's start. So here I have my console application that we are going to use today for all the performance things. So let me create. So let's do one thing. Let's start with very basic. Let's start with for loop. Let's check the loop performance of for loop. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's create one private method because I know I don't need to make a call somewhere else. I'm going to take all the example inside the program class. So I'm going to create one private method and I will say, hey, wide and do what? Check the performance of uh, 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 check performance of you know uh, 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 check performance of what dude check performance of for loop okay so here you are okay so this method is good now what i will do i will put some code here okay so first of all let's do this experiment with array so we are going to take help of array and list so let's go ahead okay so what i will do i will create one integer array and i will name it let's say array only right and we will take help of something called where are you dude uh, uh something called enumerable actually but let me see here you are okay so enumerable dot i will say range so this is something that you know microsoft has given us so what i will say hey start from zero and count till what say ten thousand uh, 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 10,000. Yeah, I think it's a good number. So let's convert this into array now. Okay, so now I have my integer array, which start from zero and it will count till the range is 10,000. Okay, so what I will do now, I will make a loop on the for loop, right? Okay, so let's create for loop now. What I will say, hey, for loop and you know, say int i and start from zero and till when i is less than equal to this array has some value say so array should have that length thing right because it is array so you can check the length and then i plus plus right okay so here you go so now let's print something so we can you know make a sense while we are showing the output so let's say console dot i think c should be capital yes c should be capital yep see it is happy now now you have to say console dot right line and and what let's print just i right i think that should be fine but you know this is something that we know this is how it is gonna work for loop you know i trade on that 10,000 items then print but it will not help us to check that performance for that what we have to do so what we have done we have already one class here you know see this helper class which is called performance watch so it is just a you know extension of stopwatch stopwatch is something that is provided by microsoft which help you to keep a track of you know watch so you can see that you know start and stop restart all those things right so what we have done we have just extended the functionality we don't need to understand this this is just to show you how you can you know keep the track of performance right so let's go ahead and you know start the performance what what that mean that means performance watch right so let's create object of uh, uh, where is my class here you go here you go right so we will use this watch to you know keep track of how much time has been elapsed when it was started when it was ended and between that time how much time this for loop has taken to execute this statement this you know for loop okay so what we will do so let's create object first performance watch and name it what maybe performance watch one right and say hey create me an object okay and do what before you execute the loop i wanted to keep a track so let's say pw1 my performance watch one and say start right okay so this has been started now now when you are done make sure you are ending as well because that start and stop time we need to calculate the difference how much time this for loop has taken so what do we have to say hey 
let's copy and stop the watch so what do we have to say stop right okay so my performance watch is ready my you know for loop is good everything code is written but not everything actually you know we have to now console these things okay so what we will say hey let's say console again you know console dot right line right line right line where are you right line here you are okay here you are okay now say uh let's say you know print something let's say time taken for loop on what on array right and here you can say let's say hey this is my dollar and now i can use this c sharp feature to print my variable value so i have something okay this is my watch performance oh sorry let's undo that so performance watch and i will say hey your elapsed elapsed milliseconds right so we are going, we are going to print milliseconds now so this will show you the time okay so now first let me run this so what i have to do i have to call this here right okay so it is throwing error ah uh, ah uh, ah uh, uh, okay so the error because you know this is static method and it needs only static right so i have to say static right okay so now let's execute and see what is the output hmm let's see it is working okay it is printing you know all those values till 10 10000 what we have said here you go this console dot i so all of these values are of i okay so it says time take okay so the spells are wrong so it should be time taken for loop on array it is 4147 milliseconds right so this is on array now do the same thing on list as well so let's close this and uh, 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 let's just this part actually copy paste and put it here and what we will say we will create a, hey this is my second object don't interfere with the first watch so this is my second watch and same thing you know i will say start and stop second watch second watch start stop now instead of you know uh, this array i will say hey uh, go for list and what i have to say i will convert that array to uh, list right so i will say hey list and you know because array has length but list don't have length they have something called count so you have to use count right so my loop has been changed so first part i am performing the execution on array second part i am performing the execution on list right and now this is fine now what i will do uh i will say time taken let's fix the spell as well so time taken for loop on list right and here i will change my watch that is my performance watch too okay so you know my compile time won't throw any error because it is i and here again i but these are you know local scope but still for the good code practice it is not recommended to use the same sort of variable with same name in one class in one method right otherwise you know sonar queue or other things will start complaining so let's change this as well for better code readability and best practices so let's change this to j now okay so come on do j okay so here you go j as well right okay so now let's run and see what happen okay so 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 something is working something is working okay so first is for i and second will for you know j okay so it is good everything is good and if you will take a look it says time taken for loop on array 3 to 8 to milliseconds and time taken for loop on list that is only 620 milliseconds something is amazing right so in this case for loop has good performance on list instead of array right so let's go ahead and take a look on other loop let's go for each loop right so what i will do i will uh, 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 i will you know copy this let's not delete this method let's just copy this and paste it and you know change the method oh spells are wrong there as well so check performance of what say for each loop right and i believe rest should be same yep rest should be same only thing that will change this loop right so change this to for each and here i will say do no i don't need you 
I will say, hey, where item in till you know this array. So let's say array. Okay. So here you go. Array. Yep. And display what? Display this item. Right. And same thing here because this is also for each, but it would be on list. Right. So you, here you have to say. Uh, array dot to list same thing right what we have done and you should be ready right everything else should be same yep here for sure you know you need to change this thing so you have to say for each right for better readability okay so I think we are good so just call this method over here so what I will do I will comment this and here you go go okay so now let's see what happened mm -mm -mm. let's see okay here it is running 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 okay i think now it's second loop started yep okay it is done so you will see time taken for each loop on array is 4060 milliseconds again here on list it is very fast that is only 487 milliseconds right so now you know which loop is good on list and array for and for each loop right but we are not done here let's go for while loop as well check the performance of that as well so we are going to do that very quick what i will do again you know i will just copy paste that method because things are repeating so let's copy paste and change the name method here i will say da -da -da -da. i will say while loop okay yep this is good this is good only thing will change this for each to while loop so what i have to say hey this is my while right and you should be mm -mm. let's declare you know one integer variable here and say hey this is integer i equal to zero right so here you can say uh, 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 i is not equal to array dot length right so this is how while loop work right and array have length okay so now you can print i here perfect and same thing you know what let's copy this and paste for what for second that would be on list and say j right and here you can say array dot again you know to list so and then count right i think that should be good yep that should that is good so here you just need to change the name instead of for each you will say uh, while loop right and here you will say while loop right so let's execute no let's call this method first so 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 here you go yep we are good and let's just enter and make this method call now let's see what happened will it behave differently than those two loops i think we messed up something uh, uh oh yeah we have messed up just close this and you know we have to see here i plus plus that is why it is always printing zero oh, even here you know we have messed up so we have to say j instead of i because you know this is something second loop so we have given different name here so now let's see you know the behavior of this function on while loop let's see okay now this is printing at least good not zero right Ooh, why why Ooh again we missed something that is called is j plus plus right so let's go ahead and now see will it work this time or not mm, let's see okay sec okay done great okay so here you go again time taken for while loop is only 634 millisecond on list but on array it is 4472 millisecond so that means everything for loop for each loop while loop are way way faster on list if you compare to array right so now it's all up to you make a wise decision while you are working with list or array which is faster right i have given you that live demo so i hope you enjoyed this learning keep in touch subscribe to our channel if you are new to this so we can keep learning new things Bye-bye. Take care. See you in the next video.